I want to start hiking again sooner than later, but seeing as we're having uh, the numbers starting to go back up, I'm like, okay, I'll wait. It was looking yeah. so good for a little while. I mean, the, the transfer numbers for outdoor transmissions are also pretty low. Yeah. So if you go somewhere and, like, whenever you see someone on the trail, you just, like, don't get close to them. Like, just, <laughs> just, like, move far off the trail and let them pass. Then you're pretty likely to be safe there as well. Yeah. But I can also just play Ring Fit at home. That is true. I mean, <laughs> I, I think you're right that, like, the only way to reduce risk absolutely to zero is to just never go outside. <laughs> Which I'm very good at. I yeah. don't think I have actually spent more than three minutes in the sun in the past four months. But like, I don't. I, like at the same time, I don't. I don't think you need to do that. No, like, I think, you don't need to. I think to. you could go hiking if you wanted to, and as long as you're very careful about social distancing, I don't. One of the main pseudo sticking points for me is just the fact that it is very like the idea of getting sick is very inconvenient, like COVID or not. Uh, if I was, like, out sick for a week, that would be a, just a giant pain. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand that there's a lot of risk for you. Whereas for me, I would just take sick time. Like, you you have to maintain, <laughs> maintain the channel is a very different sort of risk thing. Do you have, do you have, like, disability insurance or things like that? Uh, no. Like, I'd have to imagine it'd be pretty, like, hard to do. Like, it only makes sense for me because, like, my company subsidizes it. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if I could. Probably n not. Huh. Because I, I know there are singers that have, like, insured their voice. Yeah, I suspect, though, that you have to pay a lot of money is the answer. At least more yeah. than I would need to. And that's not, like, desirable. It's actually, uh, that was something I was thinking about recently. Uh, that, like, I actually really wish, um, you know, these, these companies like Twitch and YouTube and whatnot, uh, would actually, uh, ooh, sorry. Gravity's starting to get kind of hitchy. <laughs> uh... I kind of... Oh, no, come back. I needed you. Well, you are just gone. Okay. Uh, I wish Twitch, for example, would... Uh, Twitch and or YouTube would straight up have, like, kind of fake employee packages. Uh, not unlike, um, you know, what most companies have, but straight up just, like... Uh, yeah, just because they could use collective bargaining for their... The people who are streaming for them. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, I guess ultimately, like, they probably have a pretty strong incentive to try and cut costs as much as possible. But well, like, I would cut costs, but also like, if they're insuring you, they might. There might be certain ways that they start to like you start to look more and more like employees. And they could potentially be taking, like, risk or things like that for it, too. Like, increase liability for, like, what their streamers do or say. Which, I, at the same time, they kind of provably have been, sort of. Uh, so, like, especially on Twitch, you know, I was telling you about how a bunch of uh, Twitch streamers, for example, have been getting caught and finally punished. Yeah, is, and that's hurting Twitch in terms of, like, I suppose their, their, like, PR, but they haven't gotten, like, sued themselves yet, have they? Not currently. Uh, it, this is more, I think, prevalent on YouTube, uh, where uh, a number of prominent streamers had used racial epitaphs. Nope. Um, man. I do not remember gravity being this hitchy around here, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you think that they changed the uh, lower gravity near the center because that's how gravity works? Little. Is this it? I'm, I'm, am I good? I think I am actually. All right. Uh, 
So you, uh, some YouTubers had said some pretty terrible things, and a bunch of advertisers pulled out, saying like mm. they couldn't, uh, mm. they didn't want to stick around. And right. so and it's like one of those where YouTube isn't necessarily responsible for the YouTubers, because every YouTuber is technically an independent contractor. Uh, but flip side... YouTube still is responsible for them and what they say on the platform and so on and so forth. So, I I think you could you could have a good system that would effectively have like kind of the midway point between independent contractor and employee. Uh, cuz I I would love it if like for example YouTube just had a health plan that was available uh, that I could, you know, lose a cut of my my income for. Mm -hmm. And they just handle that instead. Because you currently have to just go to, it's your your channel or, or network or something, right? Yeah. So uh, is that just because like you have to have a network then, or like what's the what's the reason you'd prefer like YouTube to do that rather than having the network? Uh, well, I usually go to my network for advertising stuff and as a backup just in case because the problem is YouTube is too big. And they don't have enough people managing it, so it's um, it's difficult to get them to act. So if, say, something went wrong, uh, having both YouTube and my network uh, potentially working to help fix my problems would be a lot better than me just being like, YouTube, help! And YouTube's like, yeah, we're busy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We and are... I don't have a whole lot of bargaining power on my own, but my network kind of does. It at least has more than I do. Gosh, the amount of just random garbage has grown. Oh, did you finally get back up and see what I've left yeah, you with? Yeah, I, I finally got <laughs> to the, uh, the center of the planet, and now I'm back. Yeah, I've got some loot. I've been procrastinating Easy. research samples because I had to go, or getting more research stuff because I had to go find the things that I had that had the research stuff. I'm making sure we have a backlog. I haven't even looked at how much research we need for stuff. We've got 6,000. You have been, you've been doing a lot. I've been it's actually it... very welcome. <laughs> I've been keeping it full, but realistically, I don't, like, really know how much we need. I guess certainly I could also have figured out more of the, like, research facilities. I guess how much infrastructure do we want to build up on the planet, though? Like, because realistically, we're going to leave it. We're probably not going to come back, you've said. Would you come uh, back if we get a teleporter? A infrastructure? If we get a teleporter, uh, have, having multiple planets that you can go back to is actually quite useful, ish. Okay, but for what? Like just because we have a giant like science farm here or something? We'd have yeah. some loot stuff, right? Okay, where the heck is the spaceship? Because that's what you're trying to research now? Yeah. Wow. This is uh, kind of a sad little creation we've got going on here, but that's okay. <laughs> the shuttle or what? Yeah. It's made Why out of sad? aluminum. Oh, they're like varying degrees of how good a shuttle can be or what? Yeah, there's, there's uh, multiple shuttles. And the so basic... Small shuttle is, uh, it's just made out of two pieces of aluminum. Does does that give us a better lander at the end where we, like, go to? Uh, so the bigger the shuttle, the more we can bring with us. Hmm. Okay. I mean, what's the starting thing that we have? Is it not a thing we can make, or...? Uh, that's a shelter. That's slightly different. Okay. Do we need ammonium? I feel like I haven't uh, found too much. We need a little, but I think we've got enough. Oh, yeah, that's the other reason why you sometimes want to come back to planets. Certain planets just don't have 
uh, base resources. Oh, okay. So you said you could buy them for things, but... Yeah, and so usually I just use the trade platform, uh, but it, that's not always preferential. I just tend to get kind of lazy, and I'm like, eh, it's good enough. I've got, I got plenty of resources I can trade here. Oh man, there's no power at the base. Oh yeah, I think that is one of the nature limiters right now. Mm-hmm. Well. Next area we go to. Oh my gosh. Uh, Are you I'm just, just realizing how much science there is. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to start absorbing the small ones. They're just not worth it. How. You know, I thought maybe they would be quick to research. Does it only triple them if we put them in? Yeah, it just Is... triples them. It, it still takes a couple of minutes. I see. Uh, so it takes several I... minutes to get like 45 as opposed to 15. <laughs> yeah. And so I for see. like a bigger okay. research farm, it might be worth it. But there's a lot of stuff near the core that is worth so much more. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize how long they would take until I put one in experimentally. I kind of figured we could do that at some point anyways. I guess it would have been faster earlier, but I'm mostly limited by how how many large things I can, can take off. <laughs> there we got power. I also was just kind of amused by how much of a garbage pile base was becoming, and I was curious when you'd come <laughs> back and see that that's what had been happening. It, it took me a long time to get to the center of this planet. I also want to say, I did promise you exactly what was given. No, which you was did. Entropy. I, I was not lied to, but I was disgusted. Let's now see. I'm just finding them, and I'm just immediately starting the research. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to my just tractor, easier. which is just, like, rammed right into this tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like... It, it's a good thing these vehicles aren't destructible, because otherwise I definitely would not be able to go through these forests without losing one. <laughs> So, by the way, uh, you should load, come back soon, probably. I'm back. Okay. Load your inventory up with good stuff. <laughs> Are we going to the core or what? Well, I mean, you want to go to the core? Well, uh, the main thing I was going to say is it's starting to get a little bit late on my end, so I don't think I Because I was going to say, we should go, we should just go to another planet. Okay. I mean, we can pop into another planet. I, I don't want to stay too long there, but I think yeah, we can do just that. Yeah, I was just going to have his land. That sounds good. That sounds like a good stop point, too. Just kind of see what's out there and then call that a night. Yep. Wow, there's so much research stuff. You were appropriately busy. <laughs> All right, so what What exactly? So we can only take stuff that's in our inventory? Or Correct. you've already taken the other things? What would you say is valuable? Uh, I mean, we're going to we need want... power and we're going to need resin. Okay. What about compound? Uh, we're going to need an amount of compounds, yeah. Okay, I'm taking... I got four resins, one compound. I got three compounds. Um, well, we could also just have the generator with carbon, right? All right, we don't need power, do we? We're, we're going to need power, and... But we'll, uh, we're going to go renewables on this, or what? Well... Uh, partly the... Oh, the smaller generators. Uh, yeah, I guess the smaller generators no, would I meant be the, We have, like, bad. the large generator, right? We just take one of those, right? Can't. How's it going to fit in our inventory? 
Oh, so we can't. There's nowhere on the like lander that we can put a larger object. Correct. Hmm. So I'm looking at it. We are going to. Ooh. Okay. Hemat hematite is that's metal, right? I like iron. Yeah, hematite is iron. Yeah. Because I think we need iron. Hmm. What do we need more? Titanium or... Do we need titanium or iron more? Um... Did you say power cell is the thing that's consumable, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so don't bring it. Don't bring those. Do we have aluminum? Uh, we don't. I I had to use all of it to make the rocket. Hmm. Will we? I feel like there's a lot of things I wanted to make out of aluminum. Although, I suppose if we're just bringing power, I should really be harvesting my rover. Okay, so we need iron and tungsten. I remember where to get tungsten. Uh... Oh, tungsten is probably wolframite, isn't it? Wait, you're not going to both be able to fit in the rocket. Oh no. <laughs> well. That's so rude. Can we just like, can I just join you later and just be on your planet? Will that I, work? I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise that's really rude. I guess we have to make just another rocket, right? Oh, um, well, here's a dumb idea. We can, we can fit. Okay. Uh, we gotta go get... What do we need? We need one aluminum. Oh. Do we have ceramic? Yes, we have one ceramic. Somebody, somebody suggested something real stupid uh, that I love. Uh, so... Does one of us, like, stand on a platform and while the go, other one's go actually look at the, in? Go look at the, the shuttle real quick. Okay. Is is there a place to stand like outside of the cockpit? Yeah. Look at the side with the open panel. Okay. Do you see the just car seat jammed in there? I was noticing there is a car seat, and then there's another hole that goes in. The hole goes in to be the pilot, and the other one is just, <laughs> just a car seat. Yeah. You you added that. That's not just like there normally. <laughs> yeah, I added that. I was That's supposed it to like be a... supposed to be where you put the oxygen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we we're taking the rover seat. Okay, we're so taking what are you... the rover seat instead. What are you, you add building? I'm going to go gr grab uh, some aluminum. Uh-oh. I like how when you when you de-seat out of the rover seat, your character drops through the bottom of the shuttle. Like, it's almost like you go right out of the fuel section. Like, it shoots you out. I have two more slots. I suppose I could just take two more power things, actually. Let's Are we just see. never going to use these power cells? Uh, probably not, but I wouldn't bring them with right now. Well, I was wondering, should I just plug them into base to, like, power it? Uh, sure. Might as well get rid of them. 
There's all these research stuffs. They need a researching. People discussing how old I am? Man, you're way off on our ages. Oh, not what was the guess? Off. What uh, was the guess? I'm 32 and you're 24. That's pretty different. <laughs> yeah. I mean... That's, I think turning... like what's mostly odd is that during this night, we acknowledge we both went to high school together. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're actually I suppose pretty... it could have been at very different times, but... True. Speaking of, I found out one of my YouTube buddies went uh, went to the same college as me. Also, having a PhD by 24 would be pretty rad. I wish I yeah, had that done would that. Be. Would it have been worth it, though? Like, I feel like you'd have to sacrifice some serious things to get that done. Yeah, so the way you do that is you'd have to probably start college classes while in high school and do, like, undergrad really quick. Because I, I, knew, I knew a number of people in North Carolina that were starting to do that, that they were taking even college courses... Uh, like a couple at late middle school just because the high school was not capable of keeping up with them. Wow, that's something. I mean, like, realistically, if, if you were a smart middle schooler in, like, I, I guess there's a variety of college classes you could pass. Yeah, I, I mean, guess it, it was depends like... depends on how hard the college class is. It was is. mainly just that the high school did not have, like, particularly good calculus classes. And so for us, like, A, B, and B, C calculus just was not feasibly offered in North Carolina, at least where mm. we lived. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, like, if you remember uh, my friend Ezra, he straight up would, like, ship out to the high school and then to the college for different classes because he was fairly good at math. Huh. Okay. I mean, that's just still pretty surprising. I mean, I know of people who've, like, been a few years ahead, but middle school being into calculus is, like... I guess people do that. That's not, like, an undone thing. I mean, I guess in terms of the is it worth it, I think one of the main things is if you kind of rush through a PhD like that, you... If you're looking for, like, academic jobs on the other side, there's a pretty serious issue of competing relative to how many years you are out of your PhD for a lot of things. And like, it becomes pretty hard to like, you like once you've done five years of postdoc after PhD, you start to like not be considered as much for faculty jobs. Like it's considered too much time spent postdocing by some people. Um, huh. So like you can be, and you're not paid that much more as a postdoc. It's the idea of trying to do like a three year PhD and a two year postdoc only makes sense if you're like so competitive you're going to get into whatever university you want anyways then like yeah sure i guess you can do that if, if you're that smart but like even if you're like you know really quite competitive you you still may like miss your opportunity to go to like the most competitive research universities if you tried to rush through it too quickly and didn't have as many papers as someone who like was 32 because they like had taken seven years in their PhD and then did five years of postdocing. See, by the way, I found a use for all the uh, graphite. Oh yeah. We can make packagers. What's that? They let us uh, shrink things down back to their base state. So if you want to bring your tractor with, uh, grab a graphite, make a packager and shrink your tractor. Oh. Yeah, that would be good actually. Um, cause yeah, then I can just like take some of those things. Let's see, graphites. Let's see, do we have any better platforms than we already have? it oh yeah I wonder if we can actually grab the uh... wait you said packager right yeah it you make it in your own backpack oh <laughs> I guess because there's just one thing isn't it that's how it works yep. yeah there's a couple of exceptions but usually that's the easy way of 
checking the size of anything. Gonna Ooh, bring some mired. platforms along. Wide mired. Yep, it's for digging. It's actually super helpful. <laughs> I like the kind of strut you do when you try and move while having your inventory open. Does that mean I could package a medium solar panel as well then? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Smelting furnace is too big. I'm disappointed. I was really hoping it would be small enough. Right, what else can I take? I guess I can take the printer. Wow. That was indeed a sight to behold. Of it just um, <laughs> sucking a, a thing sucking up. up the tractor, yeah. Well, there there will be resin where we're going, right? I believe so. Yeah, I <laughs> I think resin and compound are on every planet, no matter it, what. It would seem kind of rude if like they were missing, but then again, any of them missing is like probably inconvenient. But yeah, I guess them more so than others. All right, I'm ready to go. My inventory is as full as it's going to get. Yeah, I guess the trailers are going to be pretty easy to make, right? Do I yeah. want like, do I want a medium solar though? Uh, I? well, I I grabbed a medium solar and one of the oxygen, or not one of the oxygen, one of the big winds. So, or medium winds. I don't know if there's a large solar. I know you can find, like, the remnants of a uh, crashed satellite and use that as a solar panel. Or at least you used to be able to. <laughs> There's a giant I'm pain getting it out, out here, though. I'm going to package up a medium solar just so I have enough stuff to, like, drive the tractor on. Once we make another trailer, I guess. Um... Well, that's cool. I guess I could have just always been using packagers to just like carry stuff. Or oh no, I just boxed it up again. Oh, you unboxed it? Well, we <laughs> should have a silly amount of graphite still sitting we around. Do, yeah, we, we do, we do. I just, I just hit F. So careless. The other thing is, as soon as we get, um, Uh, as, as soon as we get to the next planet, we should prioritize getting the uh, the warp gate open, so we can just warp back and forth between both planets freely. Yeah, that that is true. I think part of what I was thinking was that putting the uh, getting the warp gate to work was going to require probably having a trailer and having some power on it. Okay, I'm ready. All right, I'm getting in this cockpit. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Your character is like T-posed outside, <laughs> and that was concerning. Okay, but it does, it does look like they, it closes the hatch. I don't just like. Yeah. I, I'm reminded of that line in the Martian where they're like, whoa, you're, you're sending me to space in a ragtime. <laughs> so did you just pick something or are you currently piloting us? I kind of um got to remember which planet we're going for cuz we we've, <laughs> we've got Visania and Novus and I don't remember I think we want to go for Visania You said hematite was it one of uh, them. I don't know well, if that's the one you wanted Visania has lithium and titanite and some gases uh hydrogen okay. argon and nitrogen Cool. Those are good things to have. Yep. I think normally you're just supposed to go for the moon, but I want batteries real bad. <laughs> it would be nice. Oh, when you say go for the moon, the moon of the planet you start on, because it is just a more logical progression or something like that? Yeah. 
is there any possibility we're about to get a bunch of resources we can't use until we get the intermediate resources? Or do you know this uh, well enough to know that's not going to happen? No, nah, it's not going to happen. We're pretty much fine. Okay. Uh, and I just found our landing spot. If you notice towards the bottom of the shuttle, we've got one of those artifacts near landing point. Unless you can't see landing points. At which point, you're just going to have to trust me. <laughs> I, I can't really see anything other than the shuttle just kind of in orbit and shooting blasters around. Fair enough. Kind of interesting how okay. seamlessly it just took us between planets without a load screen, though. Okay. Uh, so can you get your can you get your tractor down? We're, Dropping we're gonna, through the bottom. <laughs> okay. Uh, it, we're going on a journey, and we're gonna need air. Oh, I guess the shuttle has air. Okay, cool. Well, get your tractor down and just kind of follow me. Because we're moving our starting base. And I'm juggling a whole shuttle to do it. I don't know if I really ever spent a whole lot of time on this planet. Okay. Got the two wind turbines on it. Oh, so all, all the planets are deterministic then? Uh, yeah. yeah they, okay. they're, they're predefined. <laughs> the, their layout is not, but it's a biome. Like, it's, it's very oh, yeah, set yeah. in what this place is. The geyser. Does that yeah. hurt us? There is something very amusing about watching that from a distance where this man kind of chases a shuttle that seems to fly away from him every time he gets close. <laughs> and he's like, no, why? But yeah, do you see the uh, the light in the distance? Going oh yeah, that. watch it. The, uh, the plants are actually aggressive. Well, they don't seem to be hurting me. I think they're mostly aiming for me. They're well, they attack not that. Uh, huh, I, I don't think they're hurting me while I'm in a rover. Interesting. I don't think they can damage a rover. That's funny. Convenient. Watch it explode at some point. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be bad. I can't damage the rover. No, you just don't know what the health bar is. <laughs> You don't feel the rover's pain, so you just don't know what's <laughs> going on to it. Rover internally screaming. Ah, ah. I hope our Keep... rover is not sentient, because I would be doing a lot of ethics violations if this was a sentient organism that I am putting through this sort of abuse. Played a number of games that kind of... Uh, I'm not going to say berate you for that sort of thing, but they definitely, uh, they definitely try and make you feel guilty for abusing... your belongings, your inanimate objects. All right. Not the greatest. Well, the here. science is a lot better in this area. Yep, it's it's real good. Like, I just killed one of the spitty plants and it gave me 300. Oh, killing them? What do you do to kill them? Do you just suck them up? You just uh, dig the ground out beneath them and eventually they pop. I see. I That's... guess I should have killed it earlier. Yeah, and so then, then after you've killed it, it'll uh, drop two bits of resources. Wow, okay. Oh. Up by the roots. I guess that's because I killed some plant and it exploded. <laughs> I dropped an item, I think. Oh, research sample. Yep. 25. Oh gosh, apparently that's lethal. Where do I respawn now? It would be hilarious uh, if I respawned where we shuttle. landed. Well, I respawned in, in that like little cockpit that I came on. Okay, that's good. Oh no. <laughs> did you see that? Did you yeah, see those little, the little legs just running, running, running? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was okay, a little do you, concerned. Do you remember which way we came from? Oh, you don't know where your rover is? I just died. And it's over here. Rover. It's oh, right over it. here. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> you should check your settings. See if there's uh, like a death marker setting. Oh, I, I see it now. It just wasn't in view when it was like between the ground or something. 
Are you looting my body? Nope. No. I was just standing near it so that you could find it again. I'm mostly focused on leveling out our potential base. And then next time we do this, I can, um, I'll can i power that, that jump portal and we can go back and forth between. It's hard to move resources. Like, you you can't just move anything. Uh, it, it has to be small enough to fit in your inventory. I don't think there's a way of moving resources hmm. bigger than that. Okay. Can we go back and, like, put a bunch of things in a researcher and then leave again? Yes. And I think it'll run. I could be wrong. Eventually, we can get a bigger shuttle, but I almost never want to actually use that to go back to, you know, previous planets. Yeah, that makes sense. I just noticed it doesn't show the stuff in your inventory when you're in the rover. Yeah. Probably just saves on memory or who knows what. I see this is a big, big research thing. Okay. Should probably cool. let you go though. We've... Yeah, I think I should go to bed for the night. Um, yeah. Head off. Yeah. Have a lovely rest of your evening, and we'll play more of this. Uh, I guess next Friday. Probably. Yeah, sounds good. I don't think I have anything major. I've got <laughs> like a maybe board game thing on Sunday. I'll let you know if it does happen. If you do want to join us, because. Okay. Chances are uh, neither of us have actually reached out to anybody else, and it's like, oh yeah, we should probably, we should yeah, probably do that. 7 p.m. is I, I'm busy. Yeah, so I, this be would be this would be like four your time. Okay, I could potentially do that then. Yep, but for now, sounds good. Have have a good evening. Yeah, you too.